And now for our international stories. In Mexico, youth have rallied under the hashtag YoSoy132, which means I am 132. The hashtag came to be after PRI presidential candidate Enrique Peña Nieto visited the Iberoamericana University in Mexico City. He was received with boos and sneers by the student body, who kept interrupting his speech with challenges about unsolved murder cases from his state while he was still in office. The crowd was so displeased that Peña Nieto had to cut his visit short and left the campus defeated. Later that day, the media, especially TV giant Televisa, reported that 131 of the people present during Peña Nieto's speech were not even students at the university and that they were hired by the opposing party to cause a ruckus. This infuriated the students, who right away rallied and recorded themselves with their student IDs to YouTube to prove that they were, in fact, all students. It's important to note that Televisa was known to widely support Peña Nieto, and in a document made public by the British newspaper The Guardian, it was noted that it was in Televisa's agenda to make sure the PRI candidate made it to the presidency, giving him more airtime to mold mass opinion. Earlier this month, presidential elections were held. The results are in, and president-elect is PRI candidate Enrique Peña Nieto. As soon as the announcement was made, opposers let their disagreement be heard, and a large demonstration was organized on July 7th all over the nation to voice disagreement with the results, calling the elections rigged and fraudulent. Not surprisingly, Televisa and other media did not cover the demonstrations, which were the largest the country has ever seen. The protests bring to light many of the irregularities in Mexico. For example, lack of media diversity and the power it has to mold public opinion. It also gives voice to the people's fear of the return of PRI to power since they were in office for more than 70 years in a hidden dictatorship. It wasn't until 2000 that PAN came to office, ending PRI's long reign. Whether these protests will bring about change is yet to be seen. What's clear is that social media has enabled people to communicate freely and organize their thoughts better.